He's still in pain, but lucky to be alive. Australian Ahmed Lukman was on board the largest ship in the Gaza-bound flotilla last week when it was raided by Israeli commandos. He was on the back deck, running to get inside, when he saw a laser sight settle on his leg. Then he was down. Well, I obviously knew that I'd been shot when I could see the bullet on the floor in a puddle of blood, blood just pissing out of my leg in two holes. And, um, well, we put two and two together and, you know, it looks like you've been shot. Lukeman was hit twice. The first bullet tore through his leg, partially severing his femoral artery. Another shot hit near his knee. Israel says its troops were justified in opening fire on a small band of violent activists. That is simply fiction, says Lukeman. None of us know anything about fighting and none, none of us intended to fight. We're peaceful people. As bad as the assault was, the aftermath, says Lukeman, was worse. I'm just being left there to lay down on the ground and just freaking bleed. And I um, can't believe it. Many of the soldiers that came up picked up my passport because it was a different color, looked at it and uh, chucked it on the ground next to him and said, oh, you're Australian. His wife, Jerry, was with him. The nursing student helped keep Lukeman alive as his blood drained out. Later, as other activists were deported, she chose to remain in detention in Israel to stay with her husband. She says the harsh treatment didn't end on the ship. The treatment of us was just completely unacceptable, and I've never met anyone whose heart has become so hard and so black in my life. Both husband and wife say, despite everything, it was worth it to put the Gaza blockade back in the headlines. Lukeman's condition is improving, and with his recovery on track, both he and his wife say they are eager to leave this hospital and return to their home on the Gold Coast as soon as possible. Norman Hermont, ABC News, Istanbul.